So the Miami Heat made some moves in the buyout market. They ended up getting Kevin Love, one of the hottest names out there. And they also brought in Cody Zeller as well. So yeah, in 2023, we are doing a Kevin Love new look Miami Heat rebuild. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? We kind of all thought that the Heat could be in on the Russell Westbrook sweepstakes. While they still can, this is looking a little bit less likely. Russ may end up in LA on the Clippers, or he may end up in Chicago with the Bulls. You know, there is still a chance he ends up with the Heat, but it's not looking very likely. And a lot of you guys have been asking, Matt, where's the new look Clippers rebuild? I think they're going to end up with Russell Westbrook, so I'm waiting for that. But the Heat did not make any moves at the 2023 deadline. I mean, nothing notable at all, especially on deadline day. And can Kevin Love be that missing piece in between Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo? We are going to find out. I, for one, don't hate the move. Now, Kevin Love hasn't been great in the past kind of calendar year in Cleveland, but maybe in a new system where they don't need to rely on him at all defensively because they have Jimmy out there. They have Bam Adebayo out there. They just kind of need him to knock down his three-pointers. For at least me and 2K here, I'm going to start Tower Hero. Old Depot and Struess will come off the bench. Kyle Lowry is still the starting point guard. That's something we're going to have to figure out in the offseason. We have Tower Hero starting at the two, Butler at the three, Love, and then Bam there at the five. For now, this is what the minute allocation is going to look like. It's going to change come playoff time. We're going to have Caleb Martin and Gabe Vincent be off the bench. I don't think I'm going to even play. Cody Zeller at the moment. Definitely not going to be playing Nikola Jovic right now. Omar Yurt 7 could be in there over Gabe Vincent if we wanted to do that. Um, yeah, you know, we could probably put him in, 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 as the ninth man. We have Caleb Martin getting about 15 minutes a night as the eighth man. Injuries will happen though, so we'll see if we're going to slide in Duncan Robinson and his massive contract. We may need to give up a good asset like a Max Struess or a Nikola Jovic or a first round pick to get off that contract in the offseason. We're four star pace in space, and Kevin Love is not going to help the defensive set. Uh, neither does Hero. So we're going to stick with pace in space right now. I'm going to change Spolstra's preferred system because, like, Hero is going to be part of our future going forward. Not a great defender now. We couldn't find a good defender between Love and Bam, so we can always change it back. So let's just go to pace in space for now. I, I like this move for the Miami Heat. I think Love is going to be a solid player for them. We want Jimmy Butler's shot tendency to go up to a 90. Even Bam, I kind of want it to be in the mid 80s with Tower Hero. Lowry, it could be a little bit higher, like in the low 60s. I think Bam's touches, we could probably also get it at 85 and get Jimmy Butler up to a 95. Oladipo and Love can kind of sit at a 70 and we can lower Oladipo's touches. Struess, I would like to get him up to 65. Uh, and Martin, I'd like to get him up to a 60 as well. So let's see how this Miami Heat team finishes out the 2023 regular season it'd be nice to win a championship this year so i didn't feel too stressed in the following seasons because i'm not ending this video until i win a championship with the heat kevin love bruised right hip he's out one of two weeks like we just ended up winning by 37 points how many minutes did he play here 26 he had 11 and 10 shot four for 11 from the field but if he's going to be shooting uh, about 40 percent a little bit like around 40 percent from three i will take that you know what? Yeah, 37 from three, 86 from the line. I, I don't mind that at all. All right, well, there goes my playoff rotation. Sixth man, Victor Oladipo breaks his right leg. He's out six to eight weeks. Just uh, the injury history for Oladipo, man. It's really a shame. So Max Struess is now going to slide in as the sixth man. who's probably a little bit better than Oladipo, at least more efficient. I think this means Duncan Robinson is going to be the ninth man. He's going to get about 15 minutes a night. I'll probably go up to 18 for year seven. We got about four more to deal with. I mean, like for now, like it's going to go to Jimmy Butler and Tower Hero. And we're getting towards playoff time. I'm hoping, cross my fingers, none of them get hurt. This is probably very ill-advised of me to play these guys at like a ton of minutes towards the end of the regular season because if Jimmy gets hurt or Bam gets hurt we are screwed luckily neither of them do get hurt Russell Westbrook ends up signing with the Houston Rockets all right well he was a former Houston Rocket he goes back he ends up winning sixth man of the year we do get Jimmy Butler on all NBA third team 22 points six rebounds five and a half assists good stuff Jimmy and that is it with the awards we ended up as the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference which is nice since we didn't have to be in the playing tournament we're going to be going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers here in round one so it is the Kevin Love revenge series but we're going to be without Victor Oladipo if I were going to change up some of the minutes Robinson when he played uh, man I just uh, I'm scared about Robinson I'm going to give him about 12 minutes I think I don't know I actually don't mind Caleb Martin and year seven as well I think year seven we can get about 16 to Max Struess about 25 37 to Bam maybe 39 to Jimmy 
Then we do 37 to Hero. Like, I don't want to play Kyle Lowry. I just hope he's just efficient and can play good defense in the playoffs. That's all I'm asking for. He can average six points a night. Just knock down two threes, shoot 66% from three and play good defense, and I would be so happy. But yeah, Bama to buy him and continue to get better and better. He averaged a career-high 20.4 points or finished with that. 9.8 rebounds, 3.5 assists. I know Jimmy's getting up there in age. And like Hero, uh, really good score, pretty efficient, good shot creator. Him and Bama Adebayo fit the same timeline, 25 and 23 years old. Jimmy is a whole like decade older than Tower Hero at 33, but he's still playing elite basketball. So let's see what happens here against the Cleveland Cavaliers in game one. We end up dropping it. Oof, we get blown out by 29 points. Yeah, Hero had 29 Jimmy with 22, just not a good game one. Love, 9 H, a 2 for 9 from the field. God damn it. Game number two, we end up winning. Okay, that is huge. We blow them out by 20, so we split the games in Cleveland. I will not complain at all. Tower Hero, 49, 7, and 5. Holy crap. He went 19 for 23, 9 for 13 from downtown. He was perfect from two. What a game offensively. I've never seen something like maybe that efficient before, especially from somebody like Tower Hero. Game three, we end up with the win. Let's go. We beat them by 11 at home. Bam with 27 and 10. Jimmy Bowler had a double-double, 25 and 14. Love, 15 and 12, shot 50% from the field. Lowry, you know what? I mean, not efficient, but hey, 7, 7, and 12. I'll take that. Can we go up 3 to 1? Yes, we can. The Miami Heat came to play. We beat them in overtime in a close one. 145, 143, Tower Hero with 52. What? I got to build around Tower Hero, man. What a playoff performance. He's giving me a 49 and a 52 piece in round one against a great defensive team in the Cleveland Cavaliers. What, what is he on right now? 18 for 25. He shoots over 50% from three. Absurd stuff. Jimmy Baller at 23, 6, and 14. And we are one game away from upsetting the Cleveland Cavaliers. We end up gentlemen sweeping them. Hell yeah. Beat them by 13. They end up winning game one, and then we win four in a row. And we're going to be taking on either Milwaukee or Brooklyn. So uh, I'd rather take on Brooklyn, but Milwaukee is probably going to be the more likely answer. It is. So yeah, we're taking on the Bucks here. Looks like they're at least, like, yeah, fully healthy. Game one, Heat versus Bucks, a rematch from what, 2021 round one. We end up beating them by 15. Hell yeah. Kevin Love was our leading scorer as well. A weird game all around. Bam had nine points. Jimmy Baller, 26 and seven. Max Schuster, 23. Giannis had 32 points, but they lost. Game two, we end up losing. Okay, we were on a five game playoff winning streak. Good defensive matchup from both sides here. We lost by two, 94 to 92. Butler had 36 points in this L. Hero gave me some crazy game one performances. Then he goes two for 16 and two for 11 from three here in game two. Game three ends up in a Miami Heat dub by 23 points. We had 20 plus from the big three. Caleb Martin giving me 17 points in 19 minutes. You love to see that. Game four ends up in a Miami Heat dub, man. We are killing it right now. Kevin Love with 28 points. And nine rebounds. He shoots 50% from three, 80% from the line. And we are one game away from going to the conference finals. Tower Hero sprains his right ankle, but he could play through it. We end up losing this game by four points. Ah, oh, is it because Hero sprained his ankle? I don't know, man. I don't know. Bam had a great game. Five steals and four blocks. One of the greatest defensive games so far in the playoffs. Game six, we lost it. Okay, let's not blow the three to one weed. Game seven in Milwaukee. Oh, man. Blowing a 3-1 to lead will suck. Maybe it's because Hero sprained his ankle. Ah, just either way, man. We were so close to going to the conference finals. We're down by 7. We still have a whole nother quarter of basketball. So let's come back here. Boom. There we go. We're up by 3. Oh, man. This is going to be stressful. Down by 4. Down by 2. Oh, my God. Here we go. Final 3 minutes of Game 7. We're tied. 90 seconds to go. Down by 2. Tie game. At one minute to go, I'm going to watch this play out. Oh, man. They start with the ball. I am nervous. Giannis is guarded by Jimmy Butler. That is fine with me. We got Bam guarding Brooke Lopez. I don't know. Maybe we do a switch and we get Bam on Giannis. Giannis in the post. This isn't good. He gets right around Jimmy. Oh, I mean, Giannis is so good. All right, Spolstra. I need you to come up with a good play. We are currently down by two. 50 seconds to go. We have Bam out there. Lowry, it looks like. Uh, is that yours, Seven or Caleb Martin? I guess it's... Uh, I can't really even tell. They got Tower Hero out there. Uh, 
uh, Butler using the screen. He kicks it to Bam inside. What a pass from Jimmy Butler. Bam ties it up at 130 apiece. If we can let them hold the ball for like 15 or so seconds, we are going to get the final shot off. So this would be so big if we can get a stop defensively. Oh, but we got to stop Giannis though. Let Brook Lopez shoot that. 28 seconds, 27. Okay, it looks like if we get the defensive rebound here, we are going to get the final shot. Giannis for three. Let him take that. Six seconds. Play off him. Play off him. Let him shoot. Let him shoot. He kicks it to Bobby Portis inside and he throws it down with 16 seconds to go. Oh, yeah, that is Caleb Martin out there. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh. If we, like, we were playing so good defense, and they get it basically as the shot clock expires. We do have Kevin Love out there. We're going to run a three-point play for Kevin Love. I would love a three here, but you know what? Just score, and can we send this game to overtime? Game seven, down by two, eight seconds. Oh, my God, Jimmy, can you at least attack the rim? No, Jimmy, four seconds. What are you doing? Attack Middleton, kicks it over to Love. Can Love the title, the thumbnail, in and out? No. And we drop game seven. We were so close to going to the conference finals, and we blow a three to one lead that hurts so much Ugh, on the road too man that hurts i mean like i guess love to even get a good look it was contested just the in and out is gonna hurt me because we were just so close to advancing to the conference finals if he hit that Giannis had 31 7 and 12 middleton 24 2 and 5 jimmy butler 27 and 10 bam 22 4 and 6 caleb martin played well also damn bam out of bio went off in that fourth quarter he had 12 points and the miami heat have been eliminated so you have the Milwaukee Bucks in the conference finals going up against the Boston Celtics who also won in a seven game series. The Grizzlies, oh my God, every single game in the quarterfinals was a seven or it went into seven games. Obviously it's a seven game series, but it went into a game seven that is arguably the greatest quarterfinals ever. You had Sacramento beat Minnesota. Was this a close game? Yeah, by three points. Memphis beat New Orleans by five. Oh my goodness. If there was a, this is a close game, this might be the greatest quarterfinals of all time. Nine point victory. Honestly, yeah, this probably would go down as the greatest playoff like series all around the league ever. Tatum and the Celtics going to the finals, taking up Ja and the Grizzlies, and the Celtics win it all in six with Jalen Brown, not Tatum, being your finals MVP. All right, just making sure Kevin Love isn't going to retire because we do want to bring him back next year. That's like the title and thumbnail of this video. Chris Paul ends up retiring, which is a shame because I think I was going to try to get Chris Paul in the offseason. Let's see who is going to win the Victor Wembanyama sweep six, and it's the Toronto Raptors. Get out of here, man. That is kind of crazy. The Thunder have our first round pick at 23. All right, I'm going to do this trade with the Indiana Pacers, and I think it makes sense for both sides. So we're going to be giving them an expiring contract in Kyle Lowry. They're most likely going to buy him out. We're giving them Nikola Jovic. Yeah, we're giving up one of our only young talent and a previous first round pick. And I'm giving them my 2024 first round pick next year. I'm actually going to try to alter this. I, I can't, okay, even put in a, a, a lottery projection on it. So it's whatever. We're going to get TJ McConnell. He is 31, but I think he could be a good enough point guard for us. We're, we're going to try to get an upgrade. Like, I'm fine with him being the backup, but if he's the starter it's not the end of the world i think he would be just as good as lowry next year but we're getting buddy healed who's going to be an elite shooter for us he's probably going to be our sixth man as well shot 43 percent from three this past season averaged 17 points for the pacers obviously he's not going to average that many for us because we have hero butler and bam ahead of him but if he can average around like yeah 15 points shoot 37 from three i am happy with that so we're going to do this trade with the indiana pacers it's a like no brainer for them too because you get jovich and a first round pick um just for taking on like lowry's expiring and you give up healed and mcconnell who probably don't even fit your long-term plans anyway maybe he'll does but i think it's worth it getting jovich in that first so yeah the raptors took one benny yama uh, i feel like the spurs are always ending up with scoot in my rebuilds as of late cam whitmore goes three ben brandon miller four craig or jackson goes five probably not going to see that on draft night and the thunder take mojave king with the 23rd pick that's where we were originally selecting team player options ola depot opts out we're not going to pick up hayward highsmith's option i don't know if i'm going to be able to move uh duncan robinson now that i already moved jovich and that first round pick i'll see if i can get creative though i would like to bring back max shrews so we're going to pay him about 10 mil a year over two seasons i don't know what kevin love is currently asking for we also can't afford like a shake milton as our point guard Ugh. like i can give out like nine million dollars ten million dollars but there isn't like a point guard that i love which is a shame so i might just try to use this exception on a one-year deal kevin love wants about 5.47 mil which we can end up giving him so i think i'm just gonna give him yeah 3.9 over one year he actually declines that we'll, we'll see that price go down now yeah you don't ask him whatever maybe it's bad luck to have him on the team we could sign john wall um, do I want to sign John Wall or Shake Milton? 
Um, we'll sign John Wall. I'm gonna give him a two-year deal. I'm only I'm doing a team option on it because I could definitely decline it next year if I want to. Uh, I feel like we are gonna get John Wall to be our starting point guard next year. Yeah, there's a chance I do play McCollum just as many minutes as I do Wall. And we're gonna offer Kevin Love a one-year deal worth about 3.9 mil. I give him a no trade clause as well. Can you not accept another offer, please? There we go. So we bring Kevin Love back. We're also going to go out and sign Frank Kaminsky as well. Avery Bradley, remember him? We're signing him to Miami. And lastly, Sfi Mikhayuk as well. So we're going to get a couple of veterans there just to wrap out the rotation. Well, really the bench. And we got your seven back on the qualifying offer, which was nice. So we do see some regression. McConnell regresses, Wall, and Healed. Don't love the healed regression as he is 30. Struce to 27 regresses as well. Thanks, 2K. All right, so it's going to be Wall... Maybe we have healed start at the two and hero off the bench. Why not? Butler, love, bam. Uh, love didn't regress too much, which is nice. Hero definitely as the sixth man. I want McConnell being the seventh man. Uh, Martin being the eighth man. And yeah, we're going to get Struess in there as well. I guess we don't really have a backup big, so we should definitely have like a 10-man rotation. I'm only going to play the big three 33 minutes throughout the regular season. Don't want them getting hurt. Uh, Heald's going to get about 27 minutes and start. Wall's going to get about 25. McCollum's going to get about 23. 16 to Martin. And then I'm going to do about 13 to Max Struess. Injuries will happen, so those minutes will fluctuate. We are three and a half star pace in space. If I were to start hero, we can go up to four. If I start McConnell, do we also go up even higher? Uh, we, we would. But we could worry about that come playoff time. So any shot tendencies I want to mess with, I kind of like the 85s to both hero and bam. 90 to Jimmy Butler. We could do probably about 70. Five, two buddy healed. John Wall, you're going down to like a 68. McCollum, we can up to like a 55. Love can go down to a 70. Everybody else I'm pretty cool with. All right, so let's see. Like first game against the uh, Rockets here of the season, we end up losing by 31 points. Oh, well, that is definitely a confidence booster. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we got a home game against the Hornets. We do drop 132 on them now. Butler had 28. Healed, 19. Okay. Um, Martin with 18 points in 16 minutes. Hero. I need you to take more than that. Um, like, we don't need John Wall taking 15 shots a night. So, I'm even going to lower John Wall. Yeah, like, Wall's tendency down to, like, I think, honestly, like a 55. Uh, we're also going to lower his touches as well. Um, everybody else is fine. But, yeah, I just don't need John Wall taking more than 10 shots a night. Like, ever. All right, quick season update here. We are 25 games through the season, 19-6. and six. We are doing really well. We just beat the Knicks by... Holy crap, 51 points. That's kind of absurd. Hero at 30, who also just got hurt. He's going to be out for a few weeks, which is unfortunate. Jimmy Butler had a great game here. I also can update you guys with the stats, in which Jimmy Butler is averaging 22, 7, and 5. Love that. Hero, 18 points on the bench. Looking like he's going to be six man. He's out one to two weeks with broken ribs. Bam, 17, 10, and 3.5. And Healed, 14.5 points, four rebounds. Shooting 44% from downtown, 88% from the line. Kevin Love, not great field goal percentage, but he's being an elite three-point shooter, which we love to see. McConnell, I think, is going to end up beating my starting point guard at one point. Like, John Wall has a 48% true shooting. You know what? I'm probably just going to make that switch right now. Even though we are 13 games above 500, I think Wall is going to get, like, 19 minutes a night, and I'm going to go probably 29, or well, we'll do, like, 27 to McCollum, and I could, or McCollum. Connell, and then we'll do like 27 to love. So we can be a team at the deadline if I want to get even mortgage up another future first round pick, which we could definitely do to try to upgrade the point guard position spot in February. And like we could package John Wall's 9 million, Duncan Robinson's like 17 million to try to get there with that first round pick. Don't love to see this though. Buddy healed. He's out four to six weeks with a broken left toe. Jimmy Butler gets a bruised left shoulder. Luckily, he could play through it. We are 24 games above 500 when I said that after just blowing out the Atlanta Hawks. We've had our fair share of injuries this season though. Heald's been hurt. Hero, we saw that to Jimmy Butler. Omar Yurt 7 got hurt, so I'm giving minutes to Frank Kaminsky, and he is definitely outperforming Omar Yurt 7. So Kaminsky is getting those 10th man minutes. We're about to be here at the All-Star Draft and healed with another injury. Luckily, it's still a minor one. We beat the Portland Trailblazers. We could see the All-Star Draft. Now we have Giannis and Jokic as the captains. Do we have any Miami Heat on the starters pool? We do not. So we do get Bam and Jimmy as All-Stars. They're joining team Giannis. Let's go. Which means the trade deadline is going to be coming up very soon in just a few days, which it is here on February 15th. So we can go out and make a championship contending move. I know we are like sitting pretty. We're almost 30 games above 500, but I feel like if we solidify that point guard spot um, and upgrade it a little bit more, 
we could be chilling. So I think I might try to package John Wall and Duncan Robinson's contract. I will have to give up one of my future first round picks. I don't know if like a team would be interested in Max Struess, but I would be okay parting ways with him instead of John Wall. Or if we wanted to do like a John Wall Struess combo with a 2027 first round pick on the line, I would be okay with that. I don't really know what point guard we can go out and acquire. Russell Westbrook from the Utah Chaz. No. I mean, I would love James Harden, but it would just be impossible to get to his money. Like, even if I gave up John Wall, I mean, I probably would have to include, like, Buddy Heald in this. But if I did Duncan Robinson and I do Struess, I could actually get their money. Well, yeah, what am I doing, though? How am I getting James Harden? Even if I give you my 2027 in 2028 first round picks i'm not getting james harden i just don't know if that contract like the sixers wouldn't value him at all yeah it's impossible that might have been one of the worst trade offers ever fred van vliet is somebody we could try to go after um from the toronto raptors i wouldn't mind that he's 29 years old he'd definitely be a, like we could definitely acquire him true holiday on the last year of his deal oh my god this team defensively i just don't think the bucks would want to trade um holiday to us after just like bursting us in the playoffs last season marco fultz though an expiring contract that would be a massive upgrade for us i would be able to get it done with john wall uh like i don't even need to give you robinson and try to do that but we could probably do john wall and Struis if i like mcconnell as my backup so we could do that they have a roster spot and i would give you a 2027 unprotected first round pick for an expiring contract to mark uh, marco fultz he stays in the state of florida and boom there it is i'm going all out to upgrade the point guard spot marco fultz is going to play probably yeah 32 minutes a night he's going to be the starting point guard we're going to go to a nine-man rotation so we lost a little bit of depth with that max Struess trade which will hurt but it is not the end of the world let's just hope we stay relatively healthy for the remainder of the regular season i am very excited to see what marco fultz can do for us like our first game with them we ended up winning by 60 points i've just seen some insane blowouts in this video he had 21 10 5 2 and 0 are you kidding me was this the best trade ever and then lastly let's just take a look here at the contract extension deadline uh tj mcconnell would resign but we have a team option on him so i'm not really too worried about that uh robinson it's whatever Fultz. yeah i don't think we're gonna really be able to get a deal done with him or duncan robbins or excuse me buddy healed before the end of the season all right so we are getting towards the end of the regular season we are relatively healthy right now Butler just got back from his minor injury, but he was able to play through it. Anyway, we have now won 60 games with this team. 66 and 16. Nobody on our team gets MVP. I don't know. Maybe we should have had somebody in that conversation. Garland wins MVP. Rookie of the Year goes to Scoot Henderson in San Antonio. Tower Hero, Sixth Man of the Year. That's what I envisioned. Holy efficiency. 70% true shooting. I think for the playoffs, I will be inserting him into the starting lineup, though. Garland wins most improved. Spolstra, Coach of the Year. Hell yeah. We get Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo on all NBA third team. Miami representing. And we, of course, finish as the one seed in the Eastern Conference going up against the New York Knicks in round one. David Nwaba is their starting small forward. Okay, it looks like RJ Barrett is hurt. They have Draymond Green. Whoa, but yeah, Barrett is hurt. Jimmy Butler averaged 23 points throughout the regular season. Bam, 18 and 10. Fultz, 18 and 9. Two steals a night. I am so excited to watch this team perform in the playoffs. RJ dislocated his left patella. Yeah, he's out the whole playoffs. We won't be seeing anything from him. Hardenstein broke his left hand as well, so we are definitely the healthier team. All right, so this is going to be the minute allocation and the rotation. Fultz getting 34, Hero 35, Butler 37, Love down to 25, and Bam 36. And then we're going to have a four-man bench of Buddy Heald, TJ McConnell, Caleb Martin, and Frank Kaminsky. We really should beat the New York Knicks in round one, but it is 2K, so you never know. We blow them out in game one. Butler had 31, Bam with 23, 9, and 5. A double-double for Marco Fultz. He shot 50% from the field as well. Game two, we end up losing by three at home. It's annoying. Game three, we also lose on the road. Okay. <laughs> Let's not do this, please. Game four ends in a win. We blow them out. Okay, so both our wins have been by blowouts. Like, Butler played great. Same with Fultz. Bam had a triple-double with three steals and two blocks as well. Game five ends in an L. Oh, my God. By 12. Okay. Butler with 29. Hero with 26. Can we not lose to the 18 and Knicks who don't even have RJ Barrett in round one? After we just win 66 games... Like, it looks like we are going to be going to a game seven. Yeah, 1,000%. We're going to be blowing them. We're going to win by... Oh, my God. They have 60 points right now. <laughs> what a defensive game from us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They scored 70 points. They just barely scored 70. We just won by 67. Can we please not lose to a team we just won by 67 by in the playoffs? Like, I would just be so confused from 2K how we could just beat them by 67, hold them to 70 points, 
like on their home floor. We were the road team. And you know what? We are up by 10, so I'm not going to complain yet. Up by 10. Okay, we don't blow this series. It, we end up going to seven games against the Knicks, which gives me no confidence going forward here against Toronto. Who we know also has Wembani Yama. Jimmy Butler averaged 24 and a half points there in round one. Fultz and Bam with double doubles. Buddy Heald, come on. Needs you to be a little bit better than this. Yeah, Wemby and Ananobi were their leading scorers in round one. I mean, Mike, you have Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Siakam, and Wembani Yama. That is absurd. Oh, wow. Fred Van Vliet dislocated his left patella as well. He is out for the season. And Cam Reddish cracked vertebrae in his neck. He's also out for the year. So we are the healthier team. Can we please beat them? No, they win game one by 15 and we were the home team. Okay. Well, that's just a shame. Game two, we end up losing by two. All right. Well, I guess we weren't meant to be here. I don't know how because I feel like we have a pretty good team. Um, Tower Hero pinched left elbow nerve. He's day to day. We do win game three, which is nice by three points. I have no confidence in this team. Kevin Love is actually getting kind of unplayable, um, which is a shame. So if I were to throw in Caleb Martin in there uh, and give him about 25 minutes a night, I'm probably just going to give Fultz two more because he's been kind of playing out of control. Oh, I don't even think Tower Hero can play through the injury. That's not good. All right, Duncan Robinson, welcome to the rotation. Oh, no, he can play through it. Marco Fultz got hurt. What happened? Right finger hairline fracture. He's day to day. Now is not the time, Markel, to be heard. All right. So now we're going to go into Toronto without our starting point guard down two to one. Oh, we are so screwed. We have a good first quarter. Like scoring 37 on them is nice. Bad second quarter. We get it back in the third. Now we blow it towards the end and we're down by five with two minutes left. And we end up losing by seven. Hero, while hurt, still drops 35, but we're down three games to one. So we're probably going to lose this series in five games. No, we actually won game five, okay, by 22 points. So can we win game six and go to a game seven? We get Fultz back for game six. That's huge. Here we go. We got to win in Toronto in game six to force a game seven. Uh, we're currently up by one holy high scoring. It is 75-74, and it's not even halftime. It is 80. Oh, my God. It was... 78-76 at halftime. There's no defense being played whatsoever. I have no confidence in winning this game. We can't stop them at all. We're up by seven with just under five minutes to go. We're up by eight with two and a half minutes. Up by six. Up by seven. Up by three. Did we really just blow that? Oh my God. <laughs> what just happened? Wemby hits a three with seven seconds left. And then Jimmy Bowler hits the game winning three-ish. The clock expires. What is this series? Caleb Martin with 27. Exactly. What is this series? Nothing makes sense. Well, here we go. Game seven, our second one in a row. We are in Miami. We are about to come down back three to one. So we can give like, you know, maybe some karma for blowing a three to one lead last year to Milwaukee. We've been kind of in control since the first quarter, which has been nice. Just don't blow it here in the fourth. You're up by six with five and a half. You're up by nine with two and a half. Do not blow a nine point lead. And we end up beating them by 15. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Buddy Heal. That's why I acquired you. Yep. The two new additions. Like Heal and Fultz leading the way. And we're going up against Boston. The reigning NBA champions in the conference finals. So they look relatively healthy. Which we don't love to see. Because the Celtics are already so good. Let's just see how game one goes. I was like there's no shot we win. And we lost by six at home. All right. Can we at least split them at home? Don't lose both at home please. I hate you. <laughs> we can't. Oh, not by 41. I don't even know what adjustments to make because we do have Jimmy Butler on Tatum. You know what? I guess we should put somebody better on. You know what I might do? Huh. Hold on one second. I'm actually going to put Bam out of bio on Jimmy Butler or on Jason Tatum, which might be stupid. And then we're going to put Jimmy Butler on Jalen Brown. What are the odds this works? Game three. Uh, Martin Bruce left him. Okay. We lose it. <laughs> they combined for 79. All right. That sucks. I mean, the, like, they combined for 63, but it did not matter. Game four. Oh, my God. Damn. So, we are just way behind Boston. Memphis, Boston again. And this time, yep. No, it doesn't change. Boston beats them in seven. I'd hate to be a Grizzlies fan. Kevin Love, are you going to retire? I see Haslam retiring. But no, Love did not retire. We don't have our first round pick. That is going to go to the Pacers at 29. We had Mr. Relevant in the draft and we took Antoine Richardson. We're going to pick up the team option on TJ McConnell. I'm actually kind of happy Caleb Martin opted into his $7 million player option. We'll extend the qualifying offer to year seven. And Markel Fultz, I'm going to pay him a lot of money. Yeah, we're going to give him that four-year deal. 
Oh, wait, I don't even think he's restricted now. So, yeah, we can get that deal done now. Let's sign Buddy Healed also. Did anybody leave the Eastern Conference deal? And Brown goes to the Raptors. Okay, well, that makes the Raptors some... Oh, my God. The Raptors are going to be sick, man. And, like, the Magic wanted to commit to Cole Anthony, so that trade made a little bit more sense for them now. But I guess they are going to lose Siakam if they are able to sign Siakam. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my goodness. They signed Jalen Brown and Pascal Siakam. How? What? So you have Brown, Siakam, Barnes, Wemby, Van Vliet, Trent. What the hell? And I'm stuck here trying to sign Kevin Love with all my funds. You know what? I can sign like a minimum exception. I'm not wasting that on Kevin Love right now. Ooh, I'm going to sign Alex Caruso on a minimum deal. I would sign Grayson Allen, but we do have Buddy Heald. So I'm going to go after Terrence Davis here. Uh, give him six and a half million dollars we get caruso we get davis and then can i wrap out this free agency with a kevin love signing yeah we can get love on a two-year deal probably should get another point guard as well so that's going to be emmanuel moody yeah well, sure all right so we see some regression of tj mcconnell but that's fine because we're going to get Fultz a ton of minutes next year caruso regresses really but if there is an injury to like Fultz, caruso will get minutes and same thing with mcconnell all right so Fultz, hero butler love bam um i'm honestly going to start caleb martin love is gonna get 15 minutes a night same with mcconnell um i don't think i'm gonna play caruso yet just in case any injuries happen uh we're gonna do 22 to davis 28 to healed i'm gonna start hero this year uh let's give about 25 to cody martin let's do about 33 to the big three just so like we don't need anybody getting hurt um, and then we, we can do 33 to faults and you know, we'll do 34 to the big three So some proficiency is four and a half star pace in space Let's see if we can be the one seed again But I'll update you guys if any injuries happen or I'll see you guys at the all-star draft So we're about to approach february. We've been doing all right with injuries hero just got hurt He's out just like for a few more games Yeah, we just like had a stretch where we lost five games like in a six game span so like outside of that we've been very elite this year we're approaching the all-star draft with a 35 and 19 record i know bam like bam like what i've been seeing from him is definitely going to be an all-star i think oh jimmy's actually an all-star starter okay um bam yeah makes it for the fourth time jimmy butler all-star starter 10th right there if we take a look at the season stats just to show you guys they're both scoring 20 plus a night like i knew bam was definite with like our record 2011 four and a half i'm kind of surprised jimmy butler made it but shout out to him tower hero 19 5 and 5 there's marco fultz averaging 17 and 10 buddy healed 15 points he's currently having a minor injury but shooting 46 from three terrence davis has been an amazing pickup for us Man, I'm nervous. Uh, there is, like, there's a chance if I don't trust Caleb Martin, we could put Jimmy Butler at the four and start even, like, Terrence Davis for the playoffs or Buddy Heald as well. I'm not going to make any moves at the deadline. I think this team can compete in the Eastern Conference as long as no... Ah, I don't know, though, because we can move that Robinson contract. It, it looks a little bit more better just because it's an expiring. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Uh, next year, it's an expiring yikes i don't know i give up my 2029 20, first and like duncan robinson i could get bojan bogdanovich but he's just not having like an all right season at all like i would trade you duncan robinson for bojan bogdanovich would you do this uh no i'm not giving you a first so let's just go past the deadline i think we could be okay we are gonna get new extensions done with jimmy butler and bam out of bio though i would like to bring back caleb martin as well so a two-year deal going to him mcconnell i could probably get back on the minimum yep definitely we didn't win 60 games like last year but we won 55 plus so i'm still confident that we could win it all tatum is your mvp just absurd numbers i guess he doesn't have jalen brown though so i shouldn't be too nervous uh sheldon daniels six minute of the year and rookie of the year he was the number one overall pick went to the spurs so oh he's a point guard you also have scoot henderson so that's a little interesting steven silas of the rockets went 59 and 23 though so he got coach of the year we did have jimmy and bam on all nba third team oh my god rj barrett averaged 31 points and six rebounds and three assist for the new york knicks with a 63 percent true shooting percentage how is that only all nba third team we are the two seed though in the eastern conference i thought we were gonna be the one seed but no that goes to the Cavs, who had two more wins than us of course that means we're on the same side as toronto with one of the greatest starting fives ever oh siakam's hurt though okay well that saves us but we'll worry about that then. Jimmy 21 a night. Bam 20. Hero just under that. There's Fultz with the double-double. Healed shot 45 from three. Let's see what the playoff rotation is going to look like. McConnell's probably going to drop down to 12 minutes. Same with Kevin Love. Davis, I think I'm going to up a little bit just to like 25. I think Martin, he's hurt. I think I'm going to lower him to like 20 minutes a night there. Bam. Bam. And Jimmy needs 37 apiece. And then let's go 35 to, or even 36 to Tower Hero. So we're taking on the Atlanta Hawks. 
who have Shake Milton and Murray in the backcourt. Okay, either they don't have Trey Young or he is hurt and he is hurt. So Trey Young is out for two to four weeks. It's looking like he might miss the whole series. If we look at the Raptors, uh, Siakam is out two to four weeks as well. Come on, Knicks, can you beat Toronto for me? We do beat the Hawks in game one by 24 points. Bam with a crazy game. Hero and Fultz both had nine assists. On to game two, in which we win. All right, let's go. I also saw the Knicks were up 2-0 as well. Shout out to Terrence Davis with 29 points in 24 minutes. Game three, uh, Martin's fully in or healthy. Let's go. We end up winning it. So we are going to have a lot of rust because I think we're going to be okay beating them. We Because like we just won by, what is that, 35 points. Game four, we end up not sweeping them. Watch me blow a 3-0 lead. Probably hit 44 in this L. God damn it. Don't blow this lead. Okay, we end up gentlemen sweeping them. Let's go. Blow them out in game five. And are we going to be taking on the Raptors or the Knicks? It is going to be the Toronto Raptors. Boy, oh boy, this series is going to be insane. Uh, so Siakam is back. And yeah, like I said, that is one of the greatest starting fives I have seen in 2K. But sometimes when it looks that good, you can beat them. Uh, game one, we end up losing. Oh my God, an overtime by three. Come on, folds with the sick game. Same with Bam. Healed at five threes. Hero 25, seven and seven. Butler 26. Oh my God. Game two. We win. Okay, that was a must win. We blow them out. We won by 26 here. Or Buddy Hilda 26 in this game. Maybe there's just not enough rock for them. Maybe they they got worse. We end up going up 2-1. to one. We won by 12. Okay, I will take that. Jimmy and Hilda come on for 46. Game 4. We go up 3-1. to one. We beat them by 4. Oh my god. Imagine we won that game 1. That was just a close one. Oh my god. Wait. Bam at a 23-20 and 20 game here. 23-20-9. and nine. Oh my goodness. Can we gentlemen swept them? Hell yeah. Let's freaking go. We beat them by 10 and we're in the conference finals for back-to-back -back seasons. We're going to be taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers, not the Boston Celtics. They look pretty healthy. Oh, they have Ananobi now. Okay. Well, that what's like with all these teams being like super squads? Game one, we win. Hell yeah. Okay. By 21. I'm nervous, man. Can we please win game two? Oh, buddy. He'll come this head. He's fine. We go up 2-0. Let's go. We win by four. Garland, one of the best players in the NBA right now. He won MVP last year. Game three. Healed is fine. Oh, we lost. By five. Oh, my God. What a high-scoring game, too. Don't lose game four. Yes, we go up three to one. Let's go. We won by eight. Are we about to go to the NBA Finals? Please, please. Oh, my God. Bam gets hurt. Why? Why does this have to happen now? Game five. No, Bam. Oh my god, we win anyway. I just gave your seven so many minutes too. Uh, and he had 17 rebounds. Hell yeah. We're in the NBA Finals. Grizzlies, can you maybe make this a series so we can get Bam back quickly? No, Pelicans win in five. Zion is your uh, Western Conference Finals MVP. Jimmy, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. He averaged 21, 9, and 8. All right, Pelicans versus Heat. Game one goes to the Miami Heat. Oh yeah. By 13. You're at 7, baby. 19 and 21 in 41 minutes. Oh my god, what an unsung hero. But we do drop game two though by 24. Okay. Well, he didn't have a good game here. Game three results in a heat W. Hell yeah. Zion at 38. That was not enough. You're 7, 17, and 10. He's been stepping it up in the absence of Jimmy Butler. We are up three games to one. Hell yeah. And can the Miami Heat finish off this series with a championship? Oh my god. Did we just win every series in five games we did? Thank you, 2K, for the uh, different series victory numbers. But Jimmy Bowie is your finals MVP. We didn't even need Bam Adebayo to win those finals. Oh my god. That feels so good, man. So yeah, Kevin Love, he helped us out a lot, man. He did. So if you guys did enjoy this Miami Heat rebuild, this was a fun one and it was a competitive one as well, especially with the last two years in the playoffs going up against the Bucks, even though we blew a three to one lead. And I mean, last year's playoff series were fun against the Raptors and the Knicks, but Boston we got swept by. But hey, we won it all this year. So those years don't matter. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Like I said, I'm kind of waiting on the Russell Westbrook signing to do that rebuild next. A lot of you guys have been asking, what is my next like three part franchise series coming out? It's going to be soon. Make sure you subscribe to the Just Ball and Newsletter. It's the first First link in the description you just log in with your email in that link you get an email to your inbox every weekday monday through friday everything updated about the nba rumors reports draft stuff box scores stat leaders the whole nine also got my nfl channel down below as well it's called triple option me and two friends are starting it we got like kind of a podcast series over there we do short videos also links to that's in the description as well as my other nba channel sross where i do more kind of content around the real life nba i reacted to the all star draft last night with team Giannis and team LeBron also I'm ranking my top 30 NBA duos 30 to 1 it was so tough to do that went out today also I got my TikTok
TikTok down there as well, where I just post short style videos around the NBA and 2K, my Twitter, where I get my thoughts and opinions over there. So all my links are in the description below. Make sure you check them out. I love you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.